I'm gonna show you how to create this CRT TV effect in Premiere Pro. Here inside Premiere Pro, I already have my clip down on the timeline, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go over here to these double arrows and go down to effects and type in grid. I'm gonna click and drag grid onto my clip and then go up here under effect controls and scroll down to the grid effect. I'm gonna change this portion of anchor down to negative five and then change size from to width and height sliders. And if you don't want vertical and horizontal lines, just increase the width until you have no more vertical lines on the screen. And then go down to height, change this to three. And for border, change that to three as well. For the color, change this to black, and press okay. And then change blending mode to overlay. Then go back over here under effects and type in lens distortion. And then click and drag that onto the clip as well. Then I'm gonna scroll down and I wanna change the curvature to something like 50. Then go ahead and change vertical decentering to 10, change horizontal decentering to three, vertical prism effects to 10, and then horizontal prism FX to three as well. Then scroll back up here under motion and adjust the position and scale to fill the entire frame. Once that's done, you're gonna go back down here under effects and type in noise, and then click and drag noise onto your clip. Then scroll down here, and I'm gonna change the noise to 10%, and I wanna make sure that I have checked use color noise. Next, go up here to window and then toggle on Lumetri color. And then I'm gonna go up here under basic correction. I'm gonna start off by increasing the exposure to something like two. And then contrast, I'm just gonna increase this to about 28.7, looks good to me. Highlights, I'm just gonna go ahead and increase that to about 40. For whites, I'm gonna increase that as well. So we'll go with something like 31.2, looks good. Then I'm gonna open up the creative tab here and I'm just going to drop down the vibrance ever so slightly. Then I'm gonna go over here under shadow tint and bring this ever so slightly towards the red. And then for the highlight tint, I'm gonna bring this slightly towards the blue. I think that looks pretty good right there. Once that's done, I'm gonna go back over here under effects and I'm going to type in channel blur. Click and drag channel blur onto your clip Then scroll down. And then all I want you to do is change the red blurriness to 50 and then blur dimensions, change that to horizontal. And then go back over here to effects and type in strobe light. Click and drag that on the clip, scroll down. I'm gonna leave the strobe light color at white. I'm gonna change blend with original to 95. Change the strobe duration to one. I'm gonna leave the strobe period at one as well. Change random strobe probability to 35% and then change the strobe to mix layer transparent. And then change strobe operator to add. And then for random seed, I'm just gonna change this to five. Now, instead of going through this process every single time you wanna add this effect, what you can do is go ahead and select every single one of the effects that we added. Right click, select save preset, name it whatever you want it to be, and then press okay. Then the next time you wanna add this effect, all you have to do is go up here under effects, go down to presets, and click and drag that CRT effect onto your clip. And the only thing you'll have to do is just play around with the position and scale to fill the entire frame. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Would it like a pro by subscribing? And hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.